My stretch demigod is back on 2K22. It's going to be a lit video. Make sure to drop a like and let's get into it. Something that's extremely popular this year is making a build that has a name that doesn't do what the name is. It's called a catfish build. Well, this is the number one catfish build in 2K22. If you guys have seen it before, it is a seven foot three finisher. So let's just get straight into what a seven foot three finisher is to 2K. Now, as you guys seen from the intro, this is not no slasher, okay? It's 225 pounds with sharp shooting takeover and into the progression. This build is a crazy catfish. It almost has no finishing. A 72 three-pointer, which is the max it can possibly get. 82 block and an 82 defensive rebound. So as you all know that have seen me post this build before, this is not a demigod best build in the game. It's a demigod of the shot contest system. It breaks it. It's got 27 Hall of Fame shooting badges at seven foot three. That's what it does. It's literally made to be able to shoot over those like in the old 2Ks. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but 2K has done something to the shot contest system recently. I don't know what it is, but let's just watch how I lost my first game on PlayStation. This is from his point of view. As you can see, he's a dribble god. He's just obviously better than me and greens the shot in the corner. So I don't know what it is, but I was like, you know what? I got to bring out the shot contest. Then we got 27 shooting badges, only one finishing badge, and it's called a finisher. So we're going to get straight into it. I went to the 1v1 court in the stage, and I just got lucky. This man hopped off the spot, and I was like, bet. This video is going to be great. Like, I just knew it. It was destined for greatness. But anyway, into the first game real quick. I just want you guys to let me know in the comment section if you've seen anything different in the shot contest system. So, those of you that have seen my stretch, you know it's tradition to miss the first shot. I don't know what it is. I never make the first shot on this build ever. It's the weirdest thing. But anyway, he misses wide open after a bunch of dribbling, and he's a two-way playmaker, so I want to see him be able to shoot. He's going to leave me open and I'm green in that. I just had to get my shot down, had to get the rust off, get warmed up, but I showed you guys that I missed, and that's fine because we're about to go crazy. He's not gonna guard me again, and we're green in that. That's the best thing about this build, especially when I start off with the first shot being a miss wide open. They're like, oh, he's a finisher. He's not gonna be able to make anything. Then I make a shot, and they're like, okay, well, that's one shot, but hold on, post fade green in that thing, fade ace. That badge is nasty. Like literally a broken badge in the game if you guys seen from the intro i can post fade post hop from pretty much the three-point line without takeover you don't need it now with takeover it's even more efficient but now i'm just gonna hit him with a post hop a post hop what is this this finisher is not a finisher it's a catfish of death anyway stepping back you see oh man this video is not in slow motion i promise you guys but we're going back into the post fade now we've got sharp shooting takeover and this build is not no demigod like i said but if used correctly i mean just look oh god mike wayne what have you done the shot contest system of death that's bad i don't even know we can just pull anything we want to as long as we time it correctly it is going in we're even getting snipers on the fade ace it's gross what's going on out here lucky number seven on hall of fame just makes me be able to actually make anything in the game i'm like nah i'm not gonna take my free points i want to go back into it i'm trying to hit a post hop of death or something but i'm just gonna end up taking my layup on that one anyway towards the end of the game he is going to try and contest but it don't matter no takeover on the board into some twos games though we're playing a playmaking shot creator and oh a playmaking shot creator what an interesting lineup anyway i'm gonna green the first shot i did change my shot because i was using larry bird and then i figured out how in the hell does a seven foot three build be able to get base three but somehow it does so i changed it look this man fouls me and oh my flagrant i've never seen a foul like that in 2k22 so yeah we just showed a foul in slow motion yes that's what we just did because 2k22 is that dry no i'm just kidding it's just i don't know i thought it was crazy that he was able to move me like that on a seven foot three but seven to zero this dude he misses the first shot horribly and then greens i don't know what's up with people in the meters but i see that a lot They'll very late a shot and then green the next five. It's the craziest thing. I don't know. Let me know if you guys use the meter or not in the comment section. I'm greening again in the corner. Let me know. Just say meter or no 
meter. But yeah, we changed to base three. And the reason why I never used base three is because I just thought there's no way a seven foot three is gonna be allowed to use base three. Like I just looked right over it. Anyway, greening again, it's nasty. Now, as you guys have seen, like, it's not just about all oh, greening in the corner wide open. You can actually shoot over people. And if you have any sort of switch, any really small person, because there's very few builds in this game that is not really small compared to my stretch, right? Seven foot three. So if they're not on a build, like a six foot nine red pie chart, you know, some type of red in their pie chart, Hall of Fame defense badges, it's going to be bad for them if you know the right player is using this build so as you see we literally made the dude quit or he graded out and people were like oh ai's are too good no nope, doesn't matter doesn't matter sharp can take over in the corner i'm just greening straight over him the ai can't do anything about it he is absolutely helpless i get the board lose it the ai pulls up a contested shot and makes it it was just a crazy little you know set of possessions right there but i didn't want to make you guys watch that whole thing anyway catching and shooting sniper green get off the court you guys know i made this build for fun next lineup play making shot creator you know we couldn't go a game without playing a play shot that's got the black tar tattoos on their entire body you know like we had to get one in this video so this dude's cooking up green and i'm like okay you know these guys are pretty decent but let's see you know i want to see what my stretch can do against these guys but yeah like i was saying i made this build for fun you don't see this build it is, I mean, you could say it's the rarest build in the game or right there at the rarest build because who the hell has a seven foot three all green pie chart stretch, right, in the game? So, and it's called a finisher on top of that, which makes it really cool. But I just like this build, man. You know, I'm going to whip it out every one month or one, every other month before 2K23 comes out because it's just something I made for fun and I have a lot of fun when I use it in the corner dotting me and I'm making that shot. It is a mid-range, unfortunately, but into the post fade, I mistime it and we miss it, but he's going to get the board and I'm sniper greening that thing. Now we've almost got takeover and that's the thing about sharpshooting takeover, especially as a spot up. You leave me open a few times and guess what? Yeah, I got sharpshooting takeover. So it's bad. Now you have to actually be standing on me and that's not enough. No, I'm pulling that thing right away. And base three made this build way better. I mean, just way better than it was. Look at this, just greening again. I don't know what he was doing. I have no idea. Raptor did bait him pretty hard right there. I pull up from the elbow, missed that shot. Raptor is out here. Oh, he almost had the board. Then this guy's gonna pull up, get a sniper green. You already know. He's a playmaking shot creator. He's got the black tar tattoos on. He's not missing. I dive for it and I throw it for what reason? I don't know. He pulls up another white. Everything's white. Every single shot is white. I know my feedback is turned off. I don't know why, but you would still be able to see if he's greening it. Anyway, 15 to 11 in this game. Kicking it to Raptor. He's going to drive down. Kick it to me. Pull up. And that's just sniper greens for days, man. Sniper greens for days. Raptor is going to break that shot at the end. Oh, give me the steal layup. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, the stretch three. Demi guy. Sorry, seven foot three. Demi guy pulls up in the corner, and that's game. It's your boy Batch. Plug been plugged in. Make sure to drop a like if you haven't hit the subscribe button. If you're not my babe.